you don't have to get onto these boats and they don't have to illegally cross the channel, do they? So don't ask me to be sympathetic about them. They can stay in France where there's no war and there's no torture. Why are we supposed to deal with them? We'll talk to Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Kevin. Uh, what would you like to say? You're talking about asylum seekers? Yes, I'm an English teacher to the asylum seekers. Oh, are you? So are you? Okay. The, I have direct contact with them. I go into what? the hotels to teach them English, and I do it on a voluntary basis. Well, good for you. Uh, and, uh, I mean... So, uh, what, what, what do you feel about this escalating crisis? 45,700 came across the channel, uh, I would contend, illegally. Uh, and uh, the situation looks like it's only going to get worse. I mean, there's too many of these people here, aren't there? Um, well, yes, absolutely. And the cost to the state with the hotels that they're staying in, some of them are luxury hotels, mm. and they're staying in luxury rooms. But I can tell you that this is not the fault of the asylum seekers that they're being um, kept in these hotels. I can tell you that the majority of them have no life whatsoever. They are severely depressed. They have a very poor diet, which is basically microwaved food. Most of them won't eat the food during the day, but they will eat the food in the evening. They don't congregate together in a communal space. They're not allowed to work for at least one year. And when they do work, they are being fed into low-paid professions where there are shortages but in fact some of them are highly skilled individuals where, where are they coming from though the ones that you are de dealing with Kathleen where are they coming from Sudan, Eritrea, Ethiopia, um, Syria, Albania, Iraq. Albania? No, there are no Albanians in any hotel so far and um, I can tell you that some of their human rights are completely compromised um, what, some of them have got no documents. They've been in there for Yeah, well, I years. think a lot of them don't have any documents. It's one of their tricks. No, when you're in they the chuck them into the channel. No, when you're, yeah, yes. when, when you're registered, when you're put in a hotel, that means you've been documented. You're meant to have documents. You're meant to pick up £8 a week because £32 of it goes to on your food. Mm. Uh, but some of them don't even receive the £8. They try to go to the library to register. They've got no. Well, I mean, are you, Kathy, are you suggesting that we should all sort of uh, be prostrate on the ground with sympathy for these people? They could always always I stay in their own be, country. I think they're they don't. They don't have to pitch up here. They don't have to get onto illegal vessels and illegally cross all the, on, cross the channel on, and Kevin. arrive here, do hold they? On, they don't have if to do let, that. If you want me to speak, please let me speak. Well, no, no. Please, you, you, they let me there. speak. No, hold on a second. First of all, you don't know what their claims are until they've made the claim. And I can tell you there are people in there that have got legitimate claims. I know well, one you man. say. <laughs> there was one man who is... Well, I see them every day. Yeah, but it I doesn't mean... Just because you day. say it. I know them on an individual basis, and I yeah. can tell you... Well, they could always stay... They could always not come here. Around. They could always not come here illegally. Okay, How about that? The, okay, I agree with you on that one. And I'll tell you this. This is not their fault. This is the fault of the Of course the it's their fault. No. They got in the... They got in the dinghies. They came here. Of course it's their fault. Hold on. They first Well, let's stop saying hold on to me, will you? Their claims should have been processed at the maximum within six weeks, four weeks for an appeal. It's not their fault those, those claims That's are not processed. That's ridiculous. Hey, here's an idea. Days. Stay in France. OK, well, this is another question. Why aren't the boats turned around and taken back? Well, yeah, there's, I agree with you there. They can stay yeah. in France. There's no war or torture there. Kevin, Let's not sympathise with them because they got onto it. No, feel? look, will you shut up, yeah, Kathleen, you, and listen to me? Oh, look, if you're not, if you're not going to let me talk, we're not going to have a conversation. So... They don't have to get onto these boats and they don't have to illegally cross the channel, do they? So don't ask me to be sympathetic about them. They can stay in France where there's no war and there's no torture. Why are we supposed to deal with them? Why can't the French deal with them? Kevin, the, I am not phoning up about how they get over here or why they get well, over here. I'm I, pointing I out that I don't feel sympathy for them. Here. Well, that's because it's not you, but if it was you and you... What are you talking about? They, what, you're just saying it, it's, it's OK, then. Just get on a boat and come here, and then you're our responsibility. Okay, oh, they only get £8 pounds a week. Oh, what a shame. If, if, if they don't get £8 pounds a week... Well, what about, how about this? Let's not give them any money. How about oh, that? Well, it's not... They were put into those hotels by the government. They didn't put themselves into yeah, them. Well, they, yeah, but they, got, they put themselves into dinghies to get across the channel, didn't they? But you don't... Some of these people are coming from... Some of them. Most of them, most of them, most of the vast them majority of them, are young, economic, 
migrant males. There are 85% of them are between the age of 18 and 34, and they're men. Yes, uh, these are economic you. migrants. So the ones that I deal with are from war-torn areas, Iraq, Well, Iran. why didn't they stay in France? A lot of them are Kurdish. How many Some countries... Them, no, wait a second. How many countries did they come across, uh, come through to get to Britain? Kevin, what happens if you go into France and you stay go into... Stay in France! Union? Don't come here! How about asylum? that? Hold on, hold on. Let me finish, please. What if you go into France and Italy and your asylum case fails? What do you oh, do? Oh, what? Then? So you, you just go go keep coming. You keep coming. Back, yeah, keep coming. Come to Britain. It's nice and yeah, easy exactly. in Britain. We are seen as a more, hum more compassionate country, but I'll tell you this. The way that they are living is not compassionate. Oh, well, excuse me while I get out the world's yeah. smallest violin. You need to be able to, write, to work... Well, why, to why am I supposed to care about the way they're living? Why don't they stay in France? Do you know what, Kevin? What you're doing is you're trying to blow the trumpet of the media that whips up this hatred towards the Oh, God, I mean, not that. I beginning to sound like a kind of feeling of genocide. Oh, oh yeah, a kind of feeling of genocide. Oh, why don't you exaggerate a bit? Up hatred against oh, come on, Kathleen. Like, come on, doing. you can do you're better than this. Up Whip up hatred. Don't be ridiculous. I'm saying that they have no cause to come to this country. You're and therefore, sure. why should I be Every sympathetic towards claim. them? The claim should be assessed soon. No, they should I'm stay saying. in France. Why did they come through so many countries without war and torture and then go on to boats illegally, dump their I documents think. in the channel and then land on our beaches? That's the question that you should think about before you lose yourself in your very creditable sympathy for these people. But most of us have had enough of it and we don't know why they're here in the first place. So thanks very much for your call. Good to talk to you, Kathleen. Happy New Year. Kathleen in Bournemouth there. Uh